come back to the garage because it's the very bad weather outside and uh, I will try to uh, replace today the valve steam seal uh, for the cylinder 2 because steel is leaking a little bit of the oil on the cylinder and that's been trusted that will be help or not exactly I hope that's be help <laughs> all right so uh, sap from 2007 one8 turbo on the uh, back door but anyway this is two liter engine just the 150 brake horsepowers and we have the problem with uh, second cylinder is wet of oil after flush it twice the engine inside uh, the smoke on the back was almost gone but still over the 3000 rpm is the one of the poof of the oil uh, like the blue color a uh, car almost passed emission when it's warm 100% uh, past emission test so I hope that's the rubbers will that will be the, the all hopefully that will be nothing uh, bigger all right so still is a little bit hot but I haven't time to wait to wait so okay first remove the one cover second cover plug coil out and next step the, the rocket cover Like you see, exactly just the cylinder 2 is black uh, spark plugs. If you check inside, as will be impossible to show by the camera, the piston is really wet. The another is nice dry. So I hope that will be the valve steam uh, seal. I hope. Size 7. So now you have to just careful because if you have opened the plugs, it will be better if you put some cloth there and nothing drop down. Okay. Pipe out. Can remove it of course the box the A box that's really good. It should be easy. See don't forget to disconnect the inflammator. Later we connect back where it should be. If you, if you like it more space, of course you can disconnect it the pipe from the turbo side. That's not in big. This will be free corner. Exactly like that. That's enough. Okay, next we have one and two ten sockets. Next we have the sensor here, so just press and up. One, two, three. Just 
disconnects. Yeah, that's enough. Okay, so time now to all bolt from the lock over. Okay, looks like that. Okay. Gently bracket like that, just for past this place. Just like that. That's be okay. I show you guys how is maybe that's be possible to see this one is try I hope the camera show you this but if you go this way you see how it's wet how the oil is shiny look this one yeah that's the problem so idea is now remove the rockers from the cylinder first the one side next the next the other side and try put something in the cylinder blocked the valves and disconnect it I hope nobody try replace before with this because if if the series will be fine probably something is crack like the head but we see okay. So first we have to moving the piston down because I can't press the valve because touching the piston. So I'm going to the crankshaft and turning down the piston. Check how deep is down. Yeah. All is in the same position. Just this one is a little bit higher. Fine. Okay, so let's try. So, push down. And... Let's move at the rocker. And the valve is free. I can make inspection the rocker. It's turning nice. Nothing crack here. Is fine. Okay, great. Really 
pin from here. is very very tough it's not too easy okay. okay if the two rockets is out so now we have to put something in the cylinder and turning back which squash the rope inside and that will be nothing damaging and will be catching the valve okay so we have the rope like that uh, it's only safety nothing nothing should be wrong it's soft and we push on the piston now how much is possible can use of course special tools for uh, for compression the air inside uh, but I think this is mechanical side is simply do like that leave it and like that and now we now we have to make the piston up for squash everything yeah. I am turning to the maximum I feel the piston is on the top so now should be impossible press down yep valve is really impossible to press down it's blocked that's the idea okay so the special tools for remove it this is impossible to use it so we have to take it something simply okay so we quick made something like that now we try push in and Catching for the magnetic the, the stones. Push down. The spring is really tough. Okay, one is out. Not too easy, guys. out spring is free okay. Okay. And now we can see ready to Moving out the rubber. I'm not sure how condition is. Okay, so now I have to try the words. The rubber. We 
see what's happening now. I'm just pushing for one side and moving like that and was pop out self. Hmm. Looks like it's very soft. It looks like. Okay, we're moving out. Looks in like that. Hmm. Time clean up around. It looks like everything is standard. It's not in free play. Hmm. Okay, the new was from this company. Looks like that. So it's exactly the same. This looks like be all right. We see. new that will be really guess will be leaking or not after this way Same, yeah, it will be great. Just very hard to show you, so I just very detail. Detail will be just this one. No, it's not okay. But what we can do, we can put the spring there. Just the spring making it like that and push all together. And it should be up. We have to remove it and check it how deep is in. Yeah, it looks like it's 100% in. Okay. So time pull back together. Everything. will be not too easy probably I will need somebody to help that's okay Okay. 
one is in, the second was put out, that's the dangerous story, okay. But nobody say, let's be easy. Okay guys, like you see you need another two hands, the spring is really tough. Thanks for out. Okay, we clean up around for the check. Engage. Spring. Press the spring a few times. Okay guys, so the, I have to use the mobile at the moment, the, the GoPro camera has the memo, full memory card, so the one side uh, was done, so now, now we almost finished the other side. Like you see, this is now will be fight with the lock. You really need the two person for this because the spring is very very tough. Or uh, if you have any special tools, that's fine. Okay, so the video will be a little bit worse, like I think, but that's okay. What, what I can do now. Okay, guys. So both sides, the exhaust and inlet is locked in. The rockers is put in as well. Uh, yes, we fight with this, but it was not easy. So need definitely need help with this. Don't do it selfish. Okay. So now put back the spark plugs put back the rocker cover and we will test it on the road what exactly happened okay okay guys so before you put the rocker cover don't forget to put gently uh, silicone for, for just for this side 
the other side is not necessary. Uh, my rocker cover gasket is very soft, so somebody replaced this before me. So happy day. Just put back the rocker cover now. Okay guys, so rocker cover is on. The old bolt is in. Height all now. Fill in. Yeah, so coil is in as well. Just tighten up the coil, cover and inlet system and almost done. Okay, like you see still something fly but I guarantee you this is the steam only, that's the water. When we check the emission test. Very well, very low, very well. Before was really high, was over 200, that's the maximum. 998 is perfect. CO2 as well is fine. Uh, that's the idle speed. I try make now the. Oh, it's jump for 132. Oh, come back to 101.76. Okay, not bad. Uh, this is the first run, guys, after. Uh, replace the steam seals so still the combustion area is a little bit dirty I just have a look what will be happened on the uh, on the higher revs like you see jumper at 24 and 20 okay we see two and a half rpm Jumper over the limit, but this can come down. Okay. 182, there is high, but probably it's high because still is dirty. So I hope after yeah, the CO is very high as well. Okay, going down, jump no, again. All right, guys, so I make the test again after a few kilometers and we see what will be happened. And we go down to the idle. Okay. The old palm is going down. All right, so we see what will be happen after a few hundred kilometers and I will check again. Okay, see you soon guys.